Hello, this video is about installing the server for the REST uh, commands, specifically GET and POST, on the ESP32. This video is based on previous four videos uh, which was published uh, recently. Uh, in this playlist we have one video of uh, credentials uh, definition if you are working via VS Code and compiling uh, the code via VS Code. For other videos, based on the original version of ESP IDF from the Espressive site. The first one uh, is about uh, the ESP IDF inst installation. The second one about the connection to Wi-Fi and simple GET request. The third one is uh, is initiating a server and performing a GET request on ESP32 from the browser. And the fourth one is uh, initiating a server on the ESP32 and performing the POST request from the PC to the ESP32 and server which was in, in created on the chip. In this video we want to take a standard example uh, which was posted on the Espressive site for the HTTP server. This example which we partially used in the previous video to perform copy-paste of this example and make a working example of the server which will perform get and post commands. So we will took our previous code and make some uh, changes. What was changed from the previous uh, code that we used which was much more simplified in order to make it more readable? We remain the flash initiation, the memory initiation and the Wi-Fi connection which was not changed in any way and the only change uh, that we changed our functions that we build, built to start web server, the function that the site use. We took all this and copy pasted it to our code. Here it is, it's, it's a copy paste as is. And perform a few small changes in order that it will work. Please note that we added inclu include this parameter header which is uh, used for this min function and if you want to use this function you have to add this header. We kept completely unchanged Wi-Fi event handler from the previous videos and Wi-Fi connection in order to initiate Wi-Fi connection from the previous videos. And after we copy pasted this code, the only change that was made is inside the URI, which here you see is slash URI, which they meant to put the correct URI. We just put the root URI without any specification. Now we will try to use Postman in order to send command from our PC via Wi-Fi to, to the ESP32. We'll open our postman with the previous, uh, previous command. First, we should compile just to see that everything is alright. It was saved, yes it was saved. Now we're compiling the the program. Um, here the user revision from the post request the program should return URI post response and for the get request it's should re return URI get response. In their classical example, the program doesn't print anything on the screen as we did in the previous videos. 
here we can see our IP of the site so if we are going to the postman and using the same IP here for example we will do the post request and uh, inside the body we will write something but it won't be shown on the screen we only will res have the response from our server on the ESP32 so we are sending the request and we got the response your, your URI post response that the server from the ESP32 have responded to us in the similar way we can perform the get command and trying to get the uh, information from our server we'll send and the URI get response is also working another way to perform a get command is uh, by going to our br browser putting it in the command line we get the same response you are a get response you are a get response to the browser because we are performing the get command via the browser and here via the postman uh, that's all and this example showed how we can use boilerplate code from the expressive site which was practically copy pasted to the working program thank you